Hello and welcome back to The Note. Well, it's been a quite remarkable trading day, although you wouldn't think so by the way the markets finally closed. The big news came at the beginning, a second successive shocking devaluation for the Chinese currency, 1.6% this time against the dollar to follow 1.9% on Tuesday. That sparked a wave of selling across European equity markets, many of them down more than 3%. It sparked a very bad opening here in the US with the S&P 500 at one point down for the year, Apple at one point down for the year. Then all of that got reversed. You saw uh, the yield on 10-year Treasury drop by 10 basis points and regain all of it. You saw the S&P regain everything to actually close up for the day. You saw Apple regain more than 5% intraday from its low. Now, what is going on here? I think people took a closer look at the exact signals that China is trying to send them. That opening shocking devaluation shows that, yes, things are going to be different for the way the currency operates now. The market will have a role in setting that opening price. But at the end of the day, note you see an almost equally dramatic appreciation, recovery for the currency. That will have only happened with the strong impulse from the Chinese authorities. That gain you see there of 1% at the end of the day would have made it on its own bigger, a bigger move for the currency than any single trading day in the entire preceding year. It's a very strong signal that the Chinese authorities are not going to allow their currency to go into free fall. That in turn means that uh, the notion of uh, serious devaluation, exporting deflation to the rest of the world, putting off any Fed rates for a while, which is obviously being talked about wildly, uh, that notion has to be toned down quite a bit while we await new signals from China. That meant that you steadily saw the reverse in the movements you had seen earlier. It saw, meant that you saw particularly strong recoveries for those stocks that are particularly exposed to China for their revenues, such as Wynn Resorts, the gaming company, or particularly Intel. What next? We need to keep watching the signals that are sent to us from the Chinese currency markets. More appreciation, more attempts to push the currency back up a little would be very reassuring. Another dramatic devaluation, which wasn't subsequently corrected, would be more of a problem. For now, we have regained almost all the ground that was lost at the beginning. China's renminbi currency has depreciated by about 3% over the last two days, following the actions of the People's Bank of China to introduce more flexibility.